Hello boys and girls, what's up? It's Tree of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Mutant Creatures mod. Um, now it has been a while since I've made some videos, so I figured I'd go ahead and spit out some videos and give you guys some tutorial videos for the next uh, couple of days, and then, you know, some Let's Play videos on Metro and stuff like that. But if you want to request any tutorial install videos, please leave a comment, and I'll be glad to hit you up with a comment and let you know if I can do it. So let's go and get started uh, with the download link. So first you need to open up the link in the description. It'll take you to this little uh, form thread. It'll be called Mutant Creatures. It's basically just the Minecraft form uh, form thread that Mutant Creatures has. Uh, so just go and scroll down and look for the download section. It's going to say download Mutant Creatures version whatever you have of Minecraft whatever version. It does not matter what version it is. It should work for all ver versions of Mutant Creatures. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So I open it up and you're going to come to a add file link. Unfortunately, you're going to have to sacrifice five seconds of your life. I'm very sorry, but I think we can pull through. Go ahead and skip the ad. And it's going to automatically start downloading. Uh, in my case, it's going to go to my downloads folder, but I highly suggest saving it to your desktop. Um, now, the next thing we need to go download is our... Uh, go ahead and close this link. We need to go download the Minecraft Forge, more, Minecraft Forge version that corresponds to whatever this says. So let's just it says download the highest recommended version of Forge, if it's updated. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just open up this link and wait for it to open. And we just go to the releases tab here. And then go to the newest uh, release released version for whatever version of Minecraft you're currently on. In my case, I'm on 1.4.6, so I'm going to go ahead and click this link. So click that link. Now in here, you're going to have to go ahead, you're going to see three links. You're going to see Universal, Source, and Javadoc. Make sure you click Universal, AdFly, or Direct. I'm going to do AdFly because I support uh, Minecraft Forge, so I'm going to wait another five seconds. So just go ahead and wait, and we're going to go ahead and skip the ad right now. So you skip the ad, it's automatically a download. Again, I highly recommend saving this stuff to your desktop to make the tutorial far easier on yourself and me. So I'm going to go ahead and open my downloads folder, and go ahead and drag everything to my desktop like I've been saying. So I'm going to do that. Um, so, go ahead and close this folder. We don't need this. Uh, we don't need these download links and stuff open anymore. We don't need the internet anymore, so don't worry about it. So, what we need to do is we need to first install Minecraft Forge. If you don't Minecraft Forge, you'll see that there's a bunch of random files in here. Um, don't worry about actually opening this. Just have this just like that for now, okay? So, on the bottom left, down here in the little Windows button, we're going to go ahead and click it and type percent app data percent, just like that. Hit enter. And it will go on and bring you to a roaming folder. In here, you're going to see a .minecraft folder. Go on and open that up. And first, we're just going to go ahead and create a new folder in here. And we're going to name it Mods. So right-click, New Folder, and name it Mods. Hit Enter. No capital letters or anything, just like that. Go ahead and drag the mutant creatures, whatever version you have, into the Mods folder. There you go. That's all you need to do for that part. Now open up the bin folder. And then open up your Minecraft.jar or Minecraft executable jar file by right-clicking it. Open with Winrar Archiver, and it's going to click it. And there you are, you're in Minecraft.jar. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to delete the meta inf here. Right-click and delete files. Hit yes. Now it's very important that you remember that you have to delete that. If you don't delete that, you're going to get a black screen or get stuck at the end of a loading bar. So make sure you do that. It's pretty important. So now open up the Minecraft Forge off of your desktop or wherever you saved it at. Right click it and select all and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. Wait for that to process to finish. Hit OK. And there you go. Go ahead and close the Minecraft Forge. You will notice that there is now a meta in folder in there, but don't delete that one because that one we want in there. We deleted the old one, we just need to have the new one in it. So just go and close your Minecraft.jar. Go and close your .minecraft. You don't need that anymore. And you don't even need to have this. You can go and delete it. I'll trash it now open up our Minecraft, and I'm so positive that the tutorial video is going to work that this is actually the first time I've installed it. So let's go on and run it and show it to you guys that it's actually going to work like normal, as usual, as all my tutorial videos. I'll go ahead and show some proof, of course. I'll go into the game, um, find something that normally isn't Minecraft. I believe there's a potion that I can find, um, so I'm not really sure, but this is kind of just a requested mod, so I don't really know much about it. All I know is that they, I did see some pictures on the forum about some of the cool mobs, and they do have some pretty cool stuff. Um, so what you have to do is you have to get a potion. It's like Potion X or something. Let me go see if I can find it. Um, X. Oh, there it is. Chemical X. Okay. That normally isn't Minecraft. We're just going to go and chuck some of them. Uh, nothing's going to happen because we need to go and get a mob. So let's go and give ourselves an egg. 
Okay, egg. Oh wait, can we not get mob eggs in this version? Because I don't think you can. Let's see, I'll have to find a zombie somehow. I don't know, I'm just terrible at that. Um, what difficulty am I on? Normal? Okay, good. Let's go find a mob real quick. Let's go see if we can find one in a cave or something. How's that sound? Well, I mean, obviously the mod is working, but I still want to try and find a, you know, a mob of some sort, just to show you guys that it is fully working. Um, there's a cow. I don't believe anything happens when you throw. Oh, okay, well... No! Oh, that works. <laughs> okay, so it does do something else to other mobs. There's more to this than I expected. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. As usual, please rate and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.